Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, let me get started with my presentation. So, uh, my name is Yuroki Sato uh, from Tokyo Tech. And uh, so my topics uh, I would like to talk about here is uh, USB debug capability. Uh, DBC stands for uh, debug capability uh, for on FreeBSD. So this is online. Uh, I am a Japanese FreeBSD committer since the 2000 and working in the various areas. And uh, yes, I attended the UBSD con for a long time, but uh, this is the first time to give a talk at the UBSD con. And uh, I will explain the background of the USB debug capability and uh, some technical details. And after that, I will uh, demonstrate uh, uh, how the USB device works by using the actual hardware and uh, 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 show, uh, explain some uh, future work. So uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, explain background of the, this functionality. Uh, USB debug is not related to debugging the USB itself, USB or USB stack itself. Uh, the purpose I want to emphasize is that uh, usually uh, uh, using the previous, uh, developing the FreeBSD or uh, kernel side development requires uh, some uh, way to connect the target machine or debug target machine to get the information when the kernel went wrong, when go, uh, uh, kernel went wrong or uh, unresponsive. Uh, for the uh, for most cases, uh, in most cases, that is that the coil is back, but it is difficult to find the um, contents of the memory or uh, internal state. Uh, it, it is difficult to get such information using the normal uh, hardware so uh, available in the market. So one thing uh, we traditionally uh, do is the using the remote access by a serial console. So the uh, photo uh, on the right hand side is a uh, small uh, PC. This, it is actually available here. But uh, this small PC has actually a uh, legacy uh, serial port in addition to the modern uh, HDMI or USB. So if the machine has a, a legacy serial hardware, you, it, it is easy for you to get the uh, machine to machine connection by using the uh, closed cable and to get the login prompt over the serial line or um, uh, even you, you can use the GDB, so remote GDB session because the FreeBSD supports the uh, attaching the uh, remote uh, GDB session. So you can debug the kernel or um, so examine to examine the internet state or memory over the cross cable. So raise your hand if you haven't used the serial console. And raise your hand if you're still using the serial console by using the serial cable. Oh, not so many, okay. So the problem is that there is no serial port anymore in modern hardware. It is considered as a legacy interface. But the, these days, the, for the purpose that uh, remote access to the headless machine, uh, server grade machines have a, a BMC, a baseboard management controller, with a function that can uh, redire redirect the console, so the virtual serial port to uh, Ethernet. More specifically, the IPMI has a specification to provide the serial access. So uh, facing the uh, machine side, the, that is uh, simply a legacy uh, IO, uh, legacy CL port. And uh, facing the outside, the uh, IPMI specification can uh, send the serial communication over UDP communication. So you can use that. IPMI tool to get the serial console access over Ethernet connection. But th this requires this uh, additional hardware and so uh, consumer level uh, hardware do not have this kind of uh, functionality. So uh, it is difficult to get uh, serial access. Uh, for example, you, if you are using the laptop 
So the USB is actually the replacement of the legacy interfaces, including the serial port. So if this is a truly replacement of the legacy hardware, uh, legacy serial port, uh, we want to use this as a, uh, as a tool to uh, get the connection between the two uh, machines. But the direct connection between the two USB ports is not allowed, uh, at least in the USB 2.0 specification. Recently, a uh, uh, Type C uh, connection connector based uh, USB specification allows uh, this kind of uh, connection, but uh, basically, USB relies on the uh, connection topology, uh, so called the tiered star topology. Tiered star means the, like a tree that has uh, uh, only one root. So every USB host machine, uh, USB host means the machine, machine with the USB ports, uh, the hardware you have. So that has the host root have, that, that is a monetary hardware uh, portion of the USB, and uh, you can connect the USB device to uh, root have. And the number of ports available on the hardware is uh, totally depending on the uh, uh, actual configuration, but the uh, root hub is always the uh, top of the hierarchy of the, of the uh, connection topology. And uh, you can add a USB hub and, uh, and connect to the root hub, and the USB device can be uh, added to the under uh, hub. But, but in this topology, uh, USB device to USB device connection never happened. Always the USB device is connected to hub. That is the uh, limitation or uh, structure that the USB has and the so-called uh, tiered star topology. So uh, we cannot get the direct connection like this. So uh, let's move on to the USB debug capability. So one ten sentence summary of the USB debug capability is like this. USB debug capability changes one of the USB ports on the USB host for a USB device. So you see, uh, probably you know uh, uh, USB OTG on the go uh, feature on the smartphone or uh, similar hardware that can provide the uh, USB device function for um, other machines. As I mean, uh, you can connect the USB connector to um, smartphone to get the contents of the memory card by um, uh, using that connection. But the smartphone itself is a host and uh, your PC is host. So usually uh, that connection is not allowed, but the USB OTG feature, it is uh, one of the feature on the smartphone side, can co uh, change the role of the port uh, to the USB device. So the, from the PC, your PC, the smartphone is recognized as uh, uh, USB device such as a UMass or storage uh, device. But the normal uh, USB host controller uh, on a new laptop or motherboard does not support such a feature because uh, USB OTG requires the additional hardware. So uh, normally, uh, usually it is, it, it never happens on the host controller, but USB debug capability is um, to make it uh, possible for debugging purpose. And uh, this is an optional feature in the USB 3 specification, but the most of the Intel um, XHCI controller supports it and the probably uh, other vendors. Uh, I, I did not check uh, the other controller yet, but uh, uh, most of USB uh, circuit IT are distributed by the so chip maker uh, supports the, this functionality. So probably you can use your hardware. 
And I know that this is not the point-to-point -point connection, uh, but the, you can connect the two USB ports because uh, the, uh, the target side can be recognized as a USB device by activating the USB debug capability on this side. By converting the one of the ports to USB device, the topology is, uh, remains the same structure. So its device is always connected to hub. So in this way, the machine to machine connection can be realized by using a uh, single cable. This is uh, uh, what the USB debug capability can do. And the cable is not normal, A to A cable. The A to A cable is not allowed for USB 2.0. However, USB 3, the A to A uh, cable is added to the specification here. And uh, as in the CL cross cable, uh, that is USB 3, A to A cable, it has a cross connection to the RX and PX line. And uh, so you can buy the A to A uh, cable, and uh, so let's move on to the uh, previous slide. You can connect the two uh, machines and activate the uh, activate the uh, USB debug capability on the target, so you can get the access to the USB device uh, serial access, just like uh, um, legacy serial ports. That is. Uh, yeah, the USB debug capability can realize. So let me explain similar technologies before getting into the details of the USB debug capability. The first one is the FireWire. Uh, FireWire is considered a legacy interface. You can you no longer see the FireWire on the motherboard, uh, but uh, this uh, controller OHCI is a controller specification, supports the reading and memory or writing memory on the uh, a connection, on the so other end point of the connection. The FireWire is, wire is uh, basically a point-to-point -point connection uh, in the uh, bus topology, but, and, but the uh, reading, reading a, uh, specific memory region or writing in memory region is in the specification. And then this is uh, uh, considered a security uh, issue that uh, yeah, the hardware supports uh, this kind of uh, manipulation uh, command. And the FreeBSD has an implementation that, uh, imp uh, that use uh, this uh, memory, write memory access a function to get a serial communication channel. So DCONS is a driver in a base system already for, for 20 years or uh, so, and uh, this realizes the uh, serial access of a final wire. So th this is uh, still a worry game, but uh, you, it, it's difficult for you to get the final wire interface in it. And another uh, technology uh, it is that it's quite similar is uh, USB 2.0 debug capability. So uh, upper layer, so applic uh, upper layer, uh, if upper layer specification is almost the same as the USB 3.0 debug capability, but uh, USB 2 has uh, only a pair of the data line on the USB. So it is impossible to have a cross cable. USB 2.0 is uh, share the uh, two wires on the sender side and receiver side and the half duplex communication between the two. So uh, it is impossible to get a cross cable and uh, impossible to distinguish the uh, initiation initiator of the uh, communication and the sender, uh, receiver side of the communication. So uh, reversing the ball is not possible. 
So specification says uh, if you want to use the debug capability you, uh, of the USB 2.0, you need a special uh, repeater hardware in, uh, at the intermediate uh, between the uh, debug host and the debug target. So this is uh, in another endpoint that realized the uh, uh, reversing the role or uh, reversing the direction of the uh, communication, just like uh, cross cable, but that this device is not available in the market. It is too special and uh, it is very expensive. So I have one or two, uh, but uh, it was uh, uh, $100 and uh, $200. <laughs> so it is not realistic for uh, normal hardware. So yeah, I have an implementation for the two USB 2 debug also, but uh, I am not, I, I do not think it is worth uh, considering. So yeah, let's move on to the implementation details. So first, um, I will explain the uh, knowledge that can, that need to understand the uh, communication over USB. The first thing is uh, how the legacy CO voice works. So CO communication is basically down by using, the, it is difficult to read, but uh, this is machine A and this is machine B connected to the single wire. And uh, if you want to uh, uh, one byte from A to B uh, by the serial communication, you have to prepare, uh, you, uh, you usually you uh, prepare the shift register on the both sides. And the shift register means a register that can um, uh, get uh, a right, mo right most or left most bit by the triggering the clock or uh, some something and uh, shifting the, all of the bits to uh, left to right or right to left. In this case, uh, one byte uh, 65 in hexadecimal uh, can be transferred over the wire. So a single wire can have uh, only one state, uh, only two state uh, by uh, usually a voltage, the high or low. So high means one and the low means zero, but uh, at the same time, a single one or zero can be transferred. So the, if you want to send the eight bits, uh, it must be done in a time division manner. So first, first uh, right most bit is transferred to the uh, machine B and the second clock, the second bit is transferred. So this um, operation can be done uh, using the two identical shift registers on the machine A and the machine B. So the, this is the timeline and the two uh, shift registers and the one clock, uh, after the one clock cycle, uh, the rightmost bit is transferred to the machine B's uh, shift register and the shift register is always uh, left to right shifting. So uh, the every clock, the bit by bit communication is uh, realized over in a single line. So this is uh, how the legacy CO communication works. So in a USB case, oh, it, it, it is difficult to see, but the, uh, this is a machine A, so USB host controller, and uh, this is the machine B, USB device controller. These two are connected uh, using the USB cable and the logical connection is established between the two, uh, so host controller and the device controller, as well as, um, uh, as the s in the same way as the uh, legacy CL ports. But the transfer, uh, transfer of the, uh, transferring of the data is not by bit by bit, it is a uh, um, uh, transfer unit. It is by the transfer unit. It's called uh, transfer request block. So USB host controller has an array of the request transfer block and the transfer block has uh, this 16-bit 
uh, data structure. It is difficult to read, but the uh, uh, first 64-bit uh, is a buffer address, and the third one is a length, and the fourth one is a type or the flags. And uh, this uh, data structure uh, represent, uh, points the data buffer that's to be transferred. And the host controller reads from the top to bottom, so array of the key, uh, TRB uh, transfer, uh, so transfer request block and uh, transfer the data to uh, receiver side, so device side. And the device, uh, when upon, the, uh, upon receiving the data on receiver side, so device controller side, the, the, the same data is stored into the tier, TRB structure. So um, what the software that want to transfer data from uh, machine A, so in this case the host controller, just put the uh, data into buffer and uh, construct the data that can that have the pointer to the data buffer as um, TRB and put the TRB into the array of the host controller is looking looking at. And uh, there is no uh, source address or destination address concept like in the uh, communication between the uh, communication using the ethernet because the, this TRB array is prepared for uh, each devices and the uh, direction. So you do not need to specify the direction or uh, communication endpoint, another endpoint. The buffer is prepared for the each device and each direction. So uh, putting the data, after the putting the data, there is no uh, need to further action on the software side. The host control will pick up the uh, TRB and data is transferred. And if it is completed, the uh, event is sent to the host controller to uh, software as a as an um, yeah as an complete or failure event. So uh, so just like a legacy uh, serial for the interface, just a host front that task of the uh, host controller is reading the uh, data in the array. And actually, an implementation is a ring buffer. So the, this structure is called as a TRB ring. Uh, frequently. And the uh, ring can be uh, realized by using the special type of uh, TLB uh, called the uh, link TLB. Link TLB is, uh, so type field is uh, different and uh, this address, 64-bit address is a value to point the next TLB. Without the link TLB, the host controller will read the, the uh, next TLB by the size of the TLB, 16-bit. So this one and this one and this one, that's read the four TLB is 16-bit, uh, so host controller can read the next one. But uh, if the host controller uh, detects the link TLB, uh, host controller reads the uh, buffer address as the next TLB. So by putting the uh, link TLB at the tail of this array, uh, this uh, array can be used as a ring um, the buffer. Or uh, if the so device driver uh, cannot get the contiguous uh, memory region, uh, TLB array can be segmented by using a link TLB. So there is no limitation of the total length. And the uh, one data pointed by the, this address can hold the uh, uh, maximum size is the 64 kilobytes. So uh, this transfer, uh, uh, transfer the uh, data transfer by using uh, this structure is not so efficient, but uh, uh, it can reach the two, one or two gigabps. 
So th this is a summary of the functions of the USB debug capability. So as I explained, uh, the virtual device side controller can be realized uh, by activating the USB debug capability. That has a minimal functionality because uh, usually uh, uh, such a uh, function is not required for USB host. And uh, one of the ports can be uh, converted to the host or uh, to the device uh, side function. And uh, this device can be seen from another uh, boxes as a normal USB device, but uh, that device has um, a two pipes, so virtual serial, uh, serial um, connection between the host controller, device controller, uh, in the explained in this slide. This is a pipe and a point and a point. So two pipes in and out. In and out means the direction. So device can send the data from the device to host and the host can send to the device. The, so bi-directional communication can be happen. And, and the speed is uh, super speed. So five gigabps at least in a specification. And a maximum size of the USB packet is one kilobytes. PLB has, can hold uh, 64 kilobytes in a single PLB, but the packet size itself is uh, each kilo, uh, one kilobyte. And the uh, host controller cannot see the port that uh, where the uh, USB device capability is activated. It is isolated from the main host controller uh, logic. So, after initialization, the OS cannot recognize the, that port as a normal USB port. And then uh, the device, so virtual device side controller does not require the full USB stack. So as to specifying the uh, USB ring structure, so that requires the memory address of the TRB ring. After that, the, so uh, for example, the uh, pull out of the, uh, pull out the, so state management of the ports, USB ports, or um, uh, watching the, um, watching the USB uh, state, ma uh, managing the USB stack state machine. Uh, this kind of tasks are done in the hardware. So there is no need to uh, prepare the uh, USB software to handle the device side. So if you, uh, so all you have to do is to construct the TRB and put, put it into the array. So host control, uh, so after that controller will pick up and uh, do the transfer. So uh, using this function, uh, it is easy to implement the get, get C or put C uh, function. It is uh, more than the uh, legacy hardware. So uh, legacy hardware uses out B or in B, but uh, uh, constructing a TRB and uh, put the uh, data into the memory is not so uh, complex. So even when the kernel is uh, uh, goes wrong in this get put C and get C function can do the necessary tasks to uh, so extract the information or uh, providing the uh, debug DDB access from the BMOID. And the DBC, so debugging capabilities originally or, uh, or yeah, actually designed for the transport of the more complex uh, debug capability, debug uh, feature, the access to the debug feature inside the processor or um, uh, debug device next to the uh, processor like the JTAG or, uh, so Intel DCI is one of the um, a big 
consumer of the, this uh, transport, and uh, it, this can expose the internal state of the processes uh, to the uh, remote machine, the so the back house. But these features are not available in the normal hardware, uh, so uh, you can get in the market. But the device capability itself is usable as a, uh, some multi-purpose, uh, just a simple uh, serial communication. So uh, to get the serial console is one of the uh, practical uh, application when using the debug capability. Okay, so software components for debug capability is summarized in this slide. On the debugging host, a normal USB 3 stack is sufficient because uh, host side is not required any special feature. However, a client driver is required to access the USB device on the, uh, so converted USB port on the debug target. Because the, the USB device is, uh, has a special debug class, DC. So uh, there's no, uh, usually uh, there is no driver for this. And so I wrote uh, the UDBC driver for the simple signal communication over the uh, debug capability. And on the debug target, the activation is required. And uh, after the activation, the, you can get the one port as a USB device. After that, the TRB ring is, uh, must be used to send or receive the um, uh, serial communication. Uh, the two realize the serial console as uh, legacy hardware. The console backend in the uh, PVC loader and the kernel is, uh, must be implemented. And the physical setup, as I explained, the cable is uh, a bit special, the HA cable. And the, after activating a USB debug capability, one of the ports will be, uh, uh, will disappear from the uh, OS side. So one port is uh, recognized as a USB device. But the, the problem is uh, which port is actually converted after the activation? The answer is uh, one of the ports. So <laughs> one of the ports and the inserting the debug cable, the cross cable, after the, just after the cross cable, uh, the, that will be converted to the debug port. So you can choose the one of the ports on the root tab. The second problem is that which port is connected to the root hub. So your motherboard or laptop can have the multiple uh, hub internally. So if you have the 16 port on the motherboard, probably uh, uh, there are two or three hubs uh, between the root hub and the port, actual port. So it is difficult to find the, uh, there, there, there's no uh, standard way to find the, uh, which is, is the, uh, connected to the root hub, so you have to find uh, which one actually work. And uh, so any USB 2.0 ports do not work because the uh, 2.0 uh, specification doesn't have a concept of a cross cable, so it, it, it is not uh, supported by the USB uh, debug capability. And uh, so I am preparing, I am distributing the cable here. So <laughs> if, if, if you are interested in, uh, I, I will give away for uh, 20 euro, please. <laughs> and uh, this uh, small uh, cable is uh, uh, A to A cable, and uh, this is extension and uh, uh, C, A to C adapter and the uh, BST chart. So, <laughs> yeah. so I have uh, eight or uh, nine table here, so if you're interested in it. And the Kay Evans told me that uh, uh, this kind of cable is already uh, available 
and the uh, sound distributor. And uh, I think uh, you can get the ten dollar or uh, twenty dollar. So uh, if you are interested in it, uh, uh, please. Uh, please take one here or uh, find uh, HA cable. So, uh, when is the ending time? So, how, how long? 10. Okay, so I will, I will show the demo here. Uh, because that, uh, one concern uh, on my side is uh, I'm interested in the how, uh, how good the uh, how um, so my implementation can work with the uh, wide range of the hardware, including the AMD um, um, USB host controller. I tested the uh, Intel uh, USB host controller uh, a lot of uh, types, and uh, it, they all of them worked, but uh, some models has a link up issue, so. Before uh, uh, submitting the patches to the project, I, I would like to uh, feedback. I, I would like to get uh, more feedback. So, uh, if you're interested in it, uh, please visit uh, this URL. And uh, this URL has um, a client side driver. And uh, uh, on the debug target, the loader has the some testing, aware uh, that some testing uh, command is uh, available as a memo stick image. So uh, you can get the uh, communication uh, between the two machines with the close cable. So let's see the actual um, behavior by using the, so it is, Difficult to read, but I will. I will. <sighs> so, <coughs> just a moment. So I'm trying to boot uh, from the memo stick and then initialize the USB debug capability. And uh, so after the initialization, I will show the screen by using a zooming <coughs> zoom, func zoom function. So So the, it is not so uh, have the information, but the, this is a loader prompt, and the DBC something is uh, uh, I added. Oh. To the loader, and uh, I wrote the uh, detailed instruction in the uh, URL, but the, 
if your hardware is working with the uh, debug capability, the uh, command displays the DDC enabled DDS and the DDS, DDS DB running equals DDS. And in this state, the one of the port of the, this small PC is uh, acting as a device. It's connected to my back MacBook. So MacBook can detect this device as a, like this. Pretty sure you know why the Japanese, <laughs> Japanese characters. This is the Japanese version of the MacBook. But the uh, USB 3.0 have detects the previously USB uh, DVC device. And uh, yeah, manufacturer is a previously foundation, but uh, this, this string can be changed in the <laughs> driver. But uh, yes, this is the one of the uh, step uh, that checks the if the hardware, <laughs> if your hardware can wor work with the uh, debug capability. After that, uh, check the communication can be realized. So in a testing, in, testing instructions, the loader side, so this small PC side can send a string to the um, um, USB host. In this case, the MacBook, but the MacBook cannot have a client device. So uh, I use the, oh, no. I use the, QMU to uh, check the if the client driver works. So if the FreeBSD is connected to the such a device over the closed cable, UDVC driver can detect the existence. And uh, this is a simple uh, CL communication uh, driver. So it creates the uh, device node under dev so um, using a tip command, the EODVC is ready to receive the information. So in, in this state, uh, I can DVC send four X's and the X's appeared. I entered uh, four X's on the, this PC and uh, the string is transferred from the, uh, this device to uh, MacBook, uh, uh, so QMU on the MacBook. MacBook. So uh, this is the test that uh, this functionality is working or not. So uh, if you can try, please help uh, the testing the functionality. And uh, okay, so so to do is, so I will submit the patches uh, because uh, this is a client side driver and the kernel side or lower side uh, implementation is almost uh, complete. But uh, one thing I need to uh, check is uh, a probing of the uh, USB debug capability. So all of the Intel uh, USB 3 uh, controller is, um, uh, so all of the device ID is already uh, implement, uh, already added, but the uh, AMD ones or other uh, chip vendors uh, ones, I did not uh, add it, I, I did not add them. So uh, if you have uh, non-Intel architecture or so, um, uh, no Intel architecture, please send the device ID and uh, uh, try to uh, use the uh, closed cable to see if it works or not. And uh, this is not a uh, Intel Intel or x86 specific, so it, it should be easy to port to other BSDs or other architectures. And uh, future work, the, this can actually be extended to mimic uh, other type of USB devices. The limitation is uh, uh, we cannot change the class ID or a device ID that is used to 
uh, distinguish the ISB types. So you, we have to write a client-side driver, but almost every uh, normal machine can have a USB device port. So uh, by using that, uh, uh, there are uh, several uh, use useful and interesting feature can be implemented. One of the uh, uh, line is uh, target disk mode. So after the loader runs, uh, a block device, it can be exported, exported by the USB, uh, via USB debug uh, serial access. So it is useful for uh, installing the OS or uh, diagnostics purpose. Okay, this is a summary. And the first bullet and two bullets is uh, already uh, explained. And the uh, yes, fourth one is important. I need more information about uh, device compatibility. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're interested in it, so <laughs> please, uh, please take this for 20 euros. Okay, that's all, thank you. Can I have four questions or just? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Non-existent serial console. Uh, so, what, what do you mean by the non-existent serial console? Uh, ah, yes, it's that that works if the machine has a USB three. So, wi without any other uh, serial uh, serial option, it is it can be used. Any other question? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, repeat your question again, so I could not. Should the load of this OS and X can be worked uh, over the USB C or something like that? USB C? Yeah. Yes, uh, theoretically, yes, and uh, I tried to use the USB C, but uh, um, some USB C connector had, had a link up issue, so I have to investigate more. That, but in theory, uh, USB C or USB A, the, it does not matter. There, 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 is, there is no standard, just uh, providing the serial communication channel, so you can put the, any uh, data over them and uh, just uh, transfer it from the host to your device. And uh, GDB, remote to GDB is uh, um, standardized in the Linux Foundation. So there is no uh, industry standard, but the Linux Foundation have uh, their own ID for uh, GDB remote. So uh, that ID can be used as, um, so what uh, format is used or not. Okay. Thanks again. Thank you.